colleague uh, here is looking at is a model of uh, a truck that's been designed by a company called Resimin. And uh, this has got uh, roughly around uh, 15,000 components. Um, and uh, my colleague can uh, teleport anywhere within this scene, uh, in, within this infinite scene. And he can actually pick any component and he can observe it. He can bring it close to his uh, uh, face and he can observe it, rotate it, and uh, have a, a really meaningful uh, experience. Uh, he can also place it at any location that he wants to. So he can pick a place, uh, pick it at a different place. So you can you have the capabilities of uh, layering out, picking different items through different layers. The first thing that I find about the HTC Vive is that it's got an amazing resolution. The second best thing is the controllers. You have touch pads on the controllers. You have the side grips, uh, and also it is very well integrated into Steam VR. We have a lot of uh, situations where the user would like to walk. And uh, in my experiments, I found that uh, while you're seated, if you are seated and there's a fast moving motion, then you get motion sickness. So I feel that it is always good that you can walk around and at the same time hop to different places rather than, rather than being stationary and using a, an X say an Xbox controller. So I, I find this to be way better and you have uh, reduced motion sickness. On this machine we have a dual P6000, Quadro P6000 uh, that is running on SLI configuration and uh, we, uh, as SolidWorks right now supports where um, you have multi-GPU support. What that means is that your graphics rendering is distributed to two graphics cards and uh, for your left eye and for your right eye and then it is merged. So you're basically having twice the performance which means that you can load more data for your VR environment.